Hey, what's up everybody? Anthony Sevens back again for another product review. Today we're going to be discussing the Arcade One Up Zen Studios Star Wars Pinball Machine. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so what we're dealing with here is actually two separate companies colliding together. In one hand, you have Arcade One Up, which is like the leading nostalgic giving creators of uh, classic arcade machines and arcade cabinets that people can bring into their homes. Uh, and then in the other hand, you have uh, Zen Studios Pinball, who's they've been developing pinball games for probably the, the past 15, 10 or 15 years. Now the Star Wars games specifically that are in this machine, some of them are as old, they're like nine years old. So some people think like, oh, this is something brand new. And you know, the machine is brand new, came out in 2020, but the games are, you know, I think they came out in 2013 is, is when they started uh, making the Star Wars games. But so you have Zen Studios Pinball, you have uh, Arcade One Up fused together to create this very beautiful machine. But it's not without its flaws, and I mean, and that's just, that's normal. I think all of us who own at-home arcade games, by this point in time, uh, we don't get our hopes too, too high. But um, for this one, it's, it's pretty incredible. I mean, the Star Wars games on this table, um, I personally have been playing for the past decade on an iPad, and on my iPhone, and on my Xbox, like totally unorthodox ways to play pinball pretty much so to even just have these games you know in a I guess you can say a full-size effort um, to turn to put it in a cabinet and have still all of the workings I mean the, the games still play as perfectly as they do you know when I play them on my iPad and on my phone so like when I play this there's nothing that's changed. So if you're familiar with the Zen Studios pinball, I mean, that's exactly what you're getting. Now, um, as far as one of the uh, bad things is that basically they took the Android program and you know blew it up really big. So in doing that, you're like seven, 720 pixels. So it's kind of like, it, it, this, it's not that the screen's blurry, it's just that the image is, is somewhat stretched a bit much. So th to get it to fit properly on this table. Um, so you know, if you get really close up to the machine, you're gonna see all of the digital flaws you know, on, the, on the play field and stuff like that. Um, but you know, honestly, you start playing and you're more concerned about hitting ramps and bumpers and scoring big than you are the picture on the screen. The picture still looks pretty and it's beautiful and it's, it's Star Wars, but it's just not your, you know, super crisp, like 8K resolution and crystal clear, uh, but it works for what it is. I mean, th this table, I think what it retailed originally for 550, in some places close to 700 or seven, $750. So for a table that, you know, under a thousand dollars, um, again, it's going to have its flaws. So you got, you got that going for you. So it's like the, as far as the image, it's good and bad. It's good because it still works and it, it's not really too bothering after a period of time. Um, but the, the bad is that it, there is a slight fuzz out of the image. Um, as far as the display back here, I mean, I think the display is good. It's divided into six squares, though, because it's just basically, again, they're, they're taking what already exists and they're finding ways to blow it up, even if it's in, you know, inexpensive ways. But, you know, all in all, all of this stuff, like all of the flaws that I'm mentioning, things can be modified. Things can be changed. You can you can take this thing apart. I mean, like <laughs> this thing lifts up like the hood of a car and you can get in there and replace things and put new, I've seen people put bigger TV screens and TV monitors in here, you know, to, to have better resolution and stuff. I've seen people actually fix the digital monitors back there. As far as the sound goes, 
The sound is perfect. It's loud. It's booming. It is immersive. Um, if you've ever played the Zen Studios games with headphones on and you've had it at full blast and you're like, yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> it's the same exact thing here. I mean, it's booming. Um, the only thing I don't like about the whole volume control is, is the volume control. Because normally on an arcade one up, when you hit the volume control, you see the volume bar depleting or increasing as you do that. With this, you don't have that. You're basically holding the button one way to turn the sound down and sometimes you overshoot it and you got to go back up and sometimes you overshoot that and you got to go back down again and it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass um you do hear the fan there is an internal fan that's going inside of the system when the, the volume is completely off but when you do have the volume up you're not going to hear that fan at all and it's absolutely not going to be a bother especially if you have like a room full of people and you know you're keeping busy with that uh, the artwork on the cabinet is amazing it's gorgeous i'll give you a, a short bit of a tour in just a few moments um, all of your controls let me move the camera back or down here all of your controls for this system are right here you got the power on and off you got the volume up and down you've got uh, your select stuff and you've got um, this is your table guide so if you don't know how to play these games and you want tips and tricks on how to score higher, you just push this button and read through the material as you're on each game, which is, that's always a welcome a pleasure whenever you're dealing with virtual pinball, because sometimes, like with Zen Studios, their games are all original. So these are, if you've never played them before, well then you've never played these specific pinball games before, and you're gonna wanna learn how to score high on these tables. So having that information portal built in is always appreciated. Um, you got your plunger on the sides. You have your, your normal flippers. Um, I think the one thing when it comes to the flippers, when it comes to the flippers, um, I have a Toy Shock pinball machine, and on that machine, there's actually two buttons on each side. There's the flipper buttons and there's the nudge buttons. Um, for those of you who don't know uh, what a nudge button is on a virtual pinball machine, in a real pinball, when you're playing on a machine and the ball is veering off in a direction you don't want it to go, you can shake the machine or nudge the machine and try to influence the ball to go to where you want it to. Well, on virtual pinball machines, they have nudge buttons, so you, you don't have to rock the, the machine to get a digital ball to go somewhere. And I really like the, I like having that secondary set of buttons on there. But with this machine, they tried, you know, a little bit newer technology to where you actually have to nudge the machine and the ball will move. And you can change the sensitivity on that as well. Um, as far as uh, some of the games, where you have magna save. Some of these games have magna save, so that's, you earn it. You, you, you hit certain things and then it'll say magna save activated, which is a magnetic feature. If your ball, if you're about to lose your ball, you hit the, the button under the plunger, you hold it, and the ball magnetically goes back into play. That's what magna save is. Now on my iPad and stuff, you know, there's a, a button for that somewhere, and, and at first, there, there was no Magna Save instruction button. So I had to kind of just, as I earned a Magna Save, I'm just pushing all these buttons, but I found out it's, it's this launch button here that you hold and your ball will magnetically go back into play again, which is super cool. And it's actually quite a logical move because it, it feels comfortable to use the Magna Save. Um, this, this machine comes with 10 different games and out of the 10 games, there are six what I call triple A or five star games on here. There's Boba Fett, there's A New Hope, there's Empire Strikes Back, there's Vader, Han Solo, Rebels, um, you know, all incredible games that I think that any Star Wars fan and pinball enthusiast would love to have. You know, some of these tables are excruciatingly challenging and some of them um, some of them are a little bit easier to navigate through and the, the ramps, the aiming, the positioning is a little bit easier. Um, then the other games that you have that come with this table is Battle of Mimban from Solo, Star Wars Story. You have uh, Ahch 2, which is from The Last Jedi. You have The Force Awakens, and then you have Masters of the Force. 
Uh, so, I mean, they're all really incredible games. I mean, anything that Zen Studio has produced over the past 15 years really has, you know, from their original tables, and then they also have licensing to Marvel tables, Universal Studios tables, and I've never really been let down by anything concerning Zen Studios pinball. So, again, I don't want to bitch too much about this table because I'm just, I'm grateful I mean, when you're playing it on a 10.5 inch iPad for 10 years, and now you have it in this beautiful cabinet, you know, all the little flaws like the screen resolution or the volume control or the fan spinning or the digital LCD display, it, to me, it, it doesn't really bother me as much. I just, I enjoy playing this on a, a much larger platform in a more pinball orthodox type of way. Uh, I mean, this thing's even got built-in uh, solenoids that has all of, like, the, the clicking of, you know, a, a pinball machine. And you can hear it. It's, it's, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool. It's a little bit more closer to true-to-life simulation of what a pinball machine is supposed to do. But again, you know, these are things that people have modified and, you know, really transformed this thing into something even more beautiful than it already is. So I think, you know, I found this, as far as the price goes, back to the price, um, again, originally anywhere between $550 to $750. Uh, I found this on sale for $499 at Kohl's.com. Um, so I think, you know, for that price point, totally worth it and not going to complain about it. So I, I get, you know, being a pinball enthusiast, I get the pinball machine and it's big. It's so much bigger than say the toy shock pinball machine. And then I get, you know, as a Star Wars fan, I get Star Wars tables and you just, this, this machine really, it delivers an experience to you and that's the best way that I can put it you know so you crank up the volume you turn off all the lights and you will lose yourself in this machine for hours on end and it's super lovely so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of just quickly thumb through the games here uh, so bear with me I'm gonna give you a better view of what it looks like overhead Okay, giving you a little bit more of the overhead view, I did shut off the music for this um, simply because of the copyright stuff and I've heard people getting booted, but you can still hear. This is your main select menu. So every, every game you have the, the high scores, all local stuff, not internet connected. And you select the game that you want. Let's take Empire Strikes Back. And then you hit the launch button to start. Now from here, from the, the, before I do that, on the main menu, if you hold down both of your flipper buttons, it'll go to a menu selection where you can, you can mess with the music volume, special effects volume, the physics vol uh, volume, uh, the solenoids that you can have that clicking on or off, depending on how quiet you want to be, ball trails, pop-up scores, major scores, plunger calibration, nudge sensitivity, reset to default and back and so on. Then you hit the launch button again. You go back here. Now we're going to go into the game by hitting the launch button. The Empire Strikes Back. Wow. Woo, I love it. So you can go single player up to four players and you can reset the local high scores if you want to just clear that board or say if you wanted to sell the machine or something. Then you just wait, you know, just a little bit while the game loads. Gives you like a little bit of a tour of the table so you know what you're getting into. Then you hit the launch button. The rebellion needs you. Wonder. Skill shot. Thousands of pro droids searching the galaxy. You must complete the training. Well, this could be it, sweetheart. 
I love it. And let me adjust this camera here real quick so you can see that the screen up there shows your, shows your points, shows animatics, shows your bonus round, stuff like that. I mean, really, really cool stuff. All right, and that's, uh, that's, that's I'm not going to cycle through all of the games. I don't want to make this video too much longer than it needs to be. So all in all, my thoughts and views on this table, I, I, I think it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is, this is like the kind of stuff that we've dreamt about owning for ever since we were little kids, pretty much. You know, and to be able to have a really cool, you know, almost full-size pinball table, <laughs> you know, in your home, and it doesn't take up too much space, and it's got all these great animatics and all kinds of crazy shit going on with it. I mean, it's it's brilliant. But again, you know, with the flaws that can all be fixed and modified, um, I have to give this table a, a, a fair eight out of 10. It is not perfect by any means, um, but at the same time, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a a, a beautiful piece that I highly recommend to any virtual pinball enthusiast slash Star Wars fanatic. Um, great job, Arcade One Up, and as Zen to all you guys at Zen Studios, this is the way that your games need to be, like all of them. Make all of your damn games and put them in cabinets like this, and I think you're gonna do very well, because this is just so much bigger and better of an experience than Again, playing on an iPad or playing on an iPhone or even playing on a console, uh, like an Xbox or PlayStation. So I just definitely highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, and the replay value on, on any pinball machine in the world is always awesome. These are games that you will constantly go back to because you're just trying to beat high scores. That's, that's, that's what pinball is. Keep your ball on the table and get as high a score as you can with three balls and whatever extra balls that you earn. I mean, and the, the challenge for these things, uh, for these tables are awesome. The bonus rounds for these tables are amazing. I mean, it's endless, not hours of fun, endless amounts of fun on these things. So anyways, that's all I got for you today. Until um, we meet again, take care of yourself, take care of each other.